now. He killed a South Texas police chief. That's capital murder, punishable by execution. But instead of going to death row, Joshua Lopez is in the North Texas State Hospital after being extensively evaluated and declared not guilty by reason of insanity. Paul Venema got a rare firsthand look at the hospital's Vernon campus, where Lopez and over 400 of the state's most violent accused criminals are being treated. North Texas State Hospital is located a scant half dozen miles from the Texas-Oklahoma border. Once a geriatric treatment center, it hardly resembles a place that houses dangerous, violent criminals. This is not a prison. It's a fully accredited psychiatric hospital. A place where patients are treated after they've been deemed either incompetent to stand trial or not guilty by reason of insanity. That does not mean they did not commit the act. To the contrary, it means that um, um, they could not appreciate the wrongfulness of, of, uh, of the act. Last summer, Joshua Lopez, who shot and killed Elmendorf Police Chief Michael Pimentel nearly four years ago, arrived here after years of legal wrangling and competency hearings. How would you like to plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty by reason of insanity, Your Honor. For Lopez, that'll mean a lengthy stay here. In many, if not the majority of cases, uh, persons found not guilty by reason of insanity actually spend more time in, um, in state psychiatric hospitals than they would have spent in prison had they been convicted. There are no handcuffs or shackles. Patients live in dormitories. Guards, though present, are not in uniform, sometimes making it difficult to distinguish them from the patients. And the place is surrounded by a 15-foot high unclimbable fence. This campus is not all free roaming. Actively violent patients, they're called patients, not inmates, are kept in a more secure area. One area of focus that, that we always work to keep our eye on, and that's the issue of dangerousness or potential dangerousness. We have security observation towers. We also use electronic monitoring. We have cameras in our buildings and in certain areas outside our buildings. All the while focusing on treatment. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt um, uh, where uh, we are making a good difference. Which brings us back to Lopez. You are the poster child of why mental health intervention needs to occur early on. Lopez's lawyer agrees. He says that his client's case is like so many others. The red flags were ignored. The easier solution is to put them in jail instead of having a system where you commit them and they get help. And that costs money. It's sad that, that we in, in the legislature tend to be reactionary rather than be proactive. I would like to see uh, next session an investment. Menendez says he'll follow up on seeking that investment, an investment that could well shrink the population here. In Vernon, Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.